Today we're going to make a bench out of two 2x4s. So this project is part of a challenge that we're issuing from my podcast, the Modern Maker Podcast, that I host with Chris Salamone and Mike Montgomery. We wanted to see what we could make using just two 2x4s. I started by cutting the 2x4s to length. I'll put dimensions up later on my website. Next, I used the table saw to rip down pieces that I'm going to end up using as the legs of the bench. I started by just ripping off the rounded edges of the 2x4s before splitting the 2x4s to create the legs and support pieces. I then set the angle of the table saw blade to 15 degrees and adjusted the fence just so that I would rip off just a little bit of the edge of the 2x4 and leave it with a nice 15 degree angle. Now I didn't quite get this right the first time so I just moved the fence a little bit more and got it right the second time. With the fence now set, I ripped three of the pieces of 2x4s so that they would all have a 15 degree angle. I then took one of those pieces and ripped the other side of it also at a 15 degree angle. This piece will be the center piece for the bench. I then moved the fence in a little bit to cut the spacer pieces and the edge pieces. I used my miter saw to cut four pieces two and a half inches long each out of the spacers. I also cut the leg pieces to length. I laid out one of the full length pieces of the bench top and then used two of the short spacer pieces and two of the legs to figure out how long the middle spacer pieces would need to be. I pre-drilled some holes in the spacer pieces and then glued and screwed them to the center piece of the bench top. I then made sure that the legs would fit in nicely before gluing and screwing in the center spacer pieces. Now that the spacer pieces were in place, I applied some glue and was ready to place the legs and clamp on the outside edge pieces. When I squeezed together the edge pieces, the 15 degree angles caused some of the pieces to slide up and down a little bit. So I used some additional clamps just to hold them in place. I also put the clamps up on blocks so I could reach underneath it and check to make sure the legs were even. I then set the miter saw to cut at 15 degree angles and cut pieces that I'll use as supports in between the legs. I applied some glue, placed the support pieces, and then drove screws through the legs and into the supports. I drove the screws in really deep because I'm gonna end up covering them later with some little dowels. I then measured and cut a center support that goes between the two side supports in between the legs. I also screwed and glued this into place. I had sunk the screws really deep, so I was able to drill shallow quarter inch diameter holes right over the screw heads and then glue in small pieces of quarter inch dowel. I used my Japanese pole saw to trim down the pieces of legs that protruded through the bench top. Once the glue on the dowels had dried, I again used the Japanese pole saw to trim down these plugs. I then sanded down the plugs so that they were nice and flush. I used my circular saw and a large speed square to trim the edges of the bench and finished it off by sanding it all over. The bench is quite sturdy and it looks pretty good for being made out of just $6 of material. We'll be talking about this project and many others on our podcast, the Modern Maker Podcast. Be sure to check it out. I'll put information about it in the links in the description box below. For more detailed instructions, check out my website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. My co-hosts, Mike and Chris, also made two 2x4 projects. So check out their videos as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.